It might come as a shock to many that there are things you didn't know were invented by black people. Well, we are about to find out. The media has traditionally downplayed the contributions of black innovators, leading many to believe that they weren't as bright or talented as their white counterparts. Thomas Edison, Nikola Tesla, Albert Einstein and Benjamin Franklin are just a few of the famous names whose contributions to society are studied in school. However, we rarely learn about the extraordinary contributions made by black inventors. That needs to change, and soon. These black innovators whose identities have been obscured, defied their past in order to make a better future, and made things you didn't know were invented by black people. They overcame slavery, segregation, and prejudice, thanks to their wits and determination. There is a three-way traffic signal. Few people are aware that a black individual was responsible for the design of the three-light traffic signal we use today, which has substantially increased road safety. Garrett Morgan, an African-American entrepreneur and inventor, was the brains behind this groundbreaking innovation. He was the first African-American in Cleveland, Ohio, to possess an automobile. After seeing a collision between a horse-drawn carriage and a car in 1922, he became determined to find a solution to this type of problem. Back then, police officers were in charge of traffic control, but they were often invisible to passing vehicles, and they could only signal for drivers to stop or go. This made it more challenging for motorists to move around the congestion. As a result, Morgan had an original thought. A folding traffic signal with stop-and-go indications was his invention. The signal would be mounted high above the roadway on a pole for maximum visibility. He also introduced a third setting, a cautious half-raise of the signal. This was the equivalent of today's yellow caution light. A traffic attendant would raise the post and display the proper signal by turning a crank. The attendant could signal for a complete halt in traffic by holding up a stop sign. In 1923, Morgan received a patent for his invention, and the same year he sold the rights to General Electric for $40,000, household safety measures. Marie Van Britten Brown, a black woman whose husband worked long hours, felt especially vulnerable as a housewife in the 1960s, one of the most deadly decades in American history. Marie was worried about the poor reaction time of the police due to the high crime rate in their area. As a result, at the age of 40, Marie invented the first home security system. Four small windows, a moving camera, televisions and microphones made up the first iteration of their concept. It was possible for the cameras to switch between different windows. In Marie's house, these cameras were linked to televisions. Marie could check to see who was at her door without going to the door or opening it by using the TV screens. Because of the mics, Marie could talk to whoever was outside without having to open the door or risk being seen. The invention of the home security system by Marie Van Britten Brown had a profound effect on the development of modern security technology. Her groundbreaking concept inspired subsequent research and advancements in the field of security systems many of which are in widespread use today. Bed That Folds In the year 1885, a black American woman by the name of Sarah Good came up with one of the most well-known comfort inventions. Her design for a bed that could be folded up was a precursor to the contemporary Murphy bed. She was the proprietor of a furniture shop, and she made a daring choice regarding the store's operations. After learning about the problem of crowded living conditions in Chicago, Sarah Good made the decision to offer her assistance in the matter. She devised a bed that folded up into a small space and could be hidden away, much like the modern-day Murphy bed. It started out as a cupboard but eventually transformed into a desk equipped with drawers for storing stationery. When folded up, Sarah's design for the bed made it both lightweight and stable, and when it was unfolded, the bed's core part featured a reinforcement that made it more robust. In the year 1885, African-American lady Sarah Good became a pioneer in the field of folding beds when she was awarded a patent for the design of her folding bed. Protective Mailbox Philip B. Downing was awarded a patent on October 27, 1891 for an invention that will revolutionize the Postal Service. That invention was for a street letter box, which is essentially the same as the mailboxes we see all throughout the country and can use to send mail at any time. U.S. people used post offices to send and receive mail beginning in the early 1800s, 
For mailing purposes, people had to travel long distances to their nearest post office, so a more practical alternative was required. The standard metal box with four legs used as a mailbox today was created by Downing. This new innovation eliminated the need to physically visit the post office to mail a letter. The mail was protected from inclement weather like rain and snow by a hinged door, and it remained safe until it was collected by postal workers. The modern mailbox has its origins in the Downing letterbox patent, blood banks. It is difficult to put a number on the number of lives that could have been lost if the work of African-American inventor Dr. Charles Drew had not been done. This doctor, scientist, and surgeon made significant strides in advancing our understanding of blood plasma, which ultimately led to the establishment of blood banks. Due to the enormous number of casualties that occurred during World War II, there was an urgent requirement for blood transfusions. Despite this, there were substantial logistical challenges associated with providing blood and keeping it for extended periods of time. Drew was able to identify the issue, and he immediately started out to locate a solution. Plasma is a key component of the blood, and he discovered how to store and preserve it independently from the rest of the blood. It will be possible to store plasma for longer periods of time without it losing its ability to save lives if you follow these steps. Additionally, he developed the idea of blood banking, which refers to the process of collecting, testing, and storing blood for use in subsequent transfusions. The input that Drew made altered the situation. Not only did it save the loss of a great number of lives during the war, but it also paved the way for subsequent discoveries and advancements in the field of blood transfusion. His contributions laid the groundwork for the highly developed system of blood banking that is in place today, refrigerated trucks. When it comes to the logistics and transport of perishable goods in the modern era, refrigerated trucks are indispensable. This revolutionary development was the brainchild of African-American entrepreneur Frederick McKinley Jones, whose ingenuity revolutionized the storage and transportation of perishable goods. Joseph A. Numero, a movie business tycoon, contacted Jones in the late 1930s. Numero need a method to prevent the spoilage of food and medicine while traveling large distances. Jones's expertise was noticed by Numero who enlisted his aid. Jones took on the problem and his answer, a portable cooling system that could be installed in pre-existing trucks, was brilliant. This converted regular trucks into refrigerated vehicles, extending the range over which perishable items could be safely delivered. The food, pharmaceutical, and healthcare industries were just a few that benefited greatly from Jones's innovation. It facilitated international trade by allowing perishable items to be shipped to distant markets. Automatic Elevator Doors On October 11, 1887, a skillful barber, inventor, and businessman named Alexander Miles was granted a patent for a device that would forever alter the nature of high-rise construction and use. His innovation, however modest it may seem, was actually quite significant. His groundbreaking work greatly improved lift safety and convenience, leading to his induction into the National Inventors Hall of Fame. For whatever reason, Alexander saw how risky it was for people to enter the lift in the 19th century, as they had to do so manually. There was a constant danger of someone falling down the shaft and becoming seriously hurt. Super Soaker Johnson, an aerospace engineer working for NASA, is the one who came up with the concept for the timeless toy. In 1982, while testing a new model of refrigerator, Air Force and NASA engineer Lonnie Johnson accidentally sprayed a tremendous jet of water in his bathroom, which inspired him to create a pressurized water pistol. Lonnie Johnson is credited with being the inventor of the pressurized water pistol. Tissue Holder Mary Beatrice Davidson Kenner and her sister were both experts at making going to the toilet a more joyful experience. They both invented a toilet paper holder in the 1970s, and as a result, they're both named on the patent for the product. The people who came up with this product were aware that one of the most frequent criticisms leveled against rolls of toilet paper was that it was difficult to grab the roll when the free end of the paper was pressed up against the rest of the roll. This practical design helps by ensuring that the toilet paper is accessible at all times, making it simple to retrieve a new roll whenever one is required. There are a lot more inventions made by black people, and yes, the list is endless.